For the rest of India, the third prize goes to the State of Gujarat, receiving the award, the Minister for Tourism, Mr. Saurabh Bhai Patel, and Commissioner of Tourism and MD, TCGL, Mr. Sanjay Kaul. <laughs> The second prize goes to the state of Rajasthan and to receive the award, Mr. Rakesh Srivastav, Principal Secretary and Commissioner of Tourism, Government of Rajasthan. And finally, the first prize for comprehensive development of tourism goes to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Receiving the award are the Minister for Information, Technology and Communications and Endowments, Mr. Purnala Lakshmaya and the Special Chief Secretary Tourism, Mrs. Chandana Khanna, a Khan, Director Tourism. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Tourism had announced a special award for Mr. Jan Martel, author for the book Life of Pi for promoting India through the novel. Mr. Martel, however, could not attend today's ceremony due to personal reasons, but has sent a message expressing his happiness in receiving a National Tourism Award from India. With that, we've come to the end of the award ceremony, and I thank the Honorable President for conferring the honors on the members of the tourism industry. Congratulations to the winners of the awards. We're all very keen to hear the President speak, so may I request Mr. Pranab Mukherjee to please share his thoughts with us. Dr. Chirinjivi, Minister of Tourism, Bhavan Dewan, Secretary, Minister of Tourism, Dr. Girish Shankar, Additional Secretary, Sri J.S. Mathur, Additional Secretary, Distinguished Awardees, Dear Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, Distinguished Ministers representing these states. It's indeed a pleasure to join you in recognizing those who have made an outstanding contribution to the promotion of India as a tourist destination. I welcome the institution of these national awards, which will give an impetus and encourage all players in this important sector of our economy. Today, our tourism industry has commendably expanded its operations and range of offerings. India has welcomed about 6.65 million foreign tourists last year. This denotes a growth of 5.4% in such arrivals over the previous year. Foreign exchange earnings in this segment of our economy are estimated to be about 94,500 crores for 2012. This too is a significant increase by 21.8% over the previous year. I would also like to stress the importance of sustainable green tourism. To this end, I call upon host communities to be more conscious and proactive with regard to tourist destinations in their respective areas. Hotels, museums, and monuments should consciously reduce their use of energy and water. They should consciously try to reduce generation of waste, transportation, heating, cooling, washing, and lighting could be made greener. Visitors themselves should be reminded to be more mindful. They should be encouraged and assisted in safeguarding the facilities that they use for future travelers. Cooperation rather than competition between the organizations in the tourism industry could help to develop socially responsible products. I have no doubt whatsoever that we are generally on the right path, but we need to update and upgrade constantly. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, 
I'll comment those who have succeeded in identifying opportunities and swiftly realizing the tourism potential. I congratulate all the award winners, Minister of Tourism, for instituting the National Tourism Awards and those who have already received them. I take this opportunity to wish each of you great success in your daily efforts and your future endeavors. Thank you. Jai Hind.